While in the USA it is quiet, but some events and unanswered questions make you think. Lieutenant General Charles Flynn has been named Chief of the US Pacific Army. He is the younger brother of Michael Flynn, who briefly served as a national security advisor in 2017. Trump pardoned him in November. Donald Trump creates the office of the former president. The goal is to organize activists, pray for the ex-president, and defend the interests of the United States. The highest paid federal employee in the entire US government, 2019, was Drive. Fossey. Anthony Fossey Dollar. President Trump Dollar. Chief Justice Dollar, Pelosi Dollar, Member of Congress Dollar. Fossey made dollar $3.6 million over the 10-year period from 2010 to 2019. Since 2014, Fauci's salary has increased from dollar to the current dollar. Donald Trump uses the slogan Save America instead of Make America Great Again in his latest statement in support of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. House and Senate Democrats are enacting legislation to raise the federal minimum wage to $1.15 by 2025, according to a statement sent by email. After 2025, the law will require an indexation of the federal minimum wage to reflect inflation. There has been a major internet outage for users from Washington I strict of Columbia to Boston. The U.S. Senate has postponed the Trump impeachment process until February 9. An attempt by Republican Rand Paul to declare impeachment unconstitutional was rejected by 55 votes to 45. But since neither side won two-thirds, impeachment seems unlikely so far. Apollo Global CEO Leon Black paid sex predator Jeffrey Epstein $158 million for financial advice following a conviction. Ghislaine Maxwell asked the judge to dismiss charges that she recruited teenage girls for Epstein for sexual assault, arguing that a deal years ago to waiver Epstein should protect her from prosecution. And now the questions that have not yet been answered by either the media or government officials. Why did the National Guard stationed in the White House not hear any of the songs, music, speeches, or see the pomp that we were told took place on the day of the inauguration in Washington? Why did the mainstream media portray the inauguration as a live event when major parts of it were pre-recorded? Why was part of the inauguration pre-recorded on set in Hollywood? Why did the signing of executive orders and the first press conference take place on the set? Why are there blank pages in the photographs Biden signs executive orders? Why did Biden have to rent a private jet for his own inauguration? Why was Biden denied access to military intelligence and told he could not enter the Pentagon? Why did the military turn away from Biden at the inaugural parade? Why didn't the military man greet Biden at his inauguration? Why did Hillary Clinton change her hair, weight, dress and, more surprisingly, height on inauguration day, all on the same day? Why is the Capitol and the White House still surrounded by a barbed wire fence a week after the inauguration? Why are the locks on the fence positioned to keep people inside? After the inauguration, when some of the troops left I strict of Olympia, why were, more recruited? Why were the soldiers asked to stay in Washington for another 30 days? What was their purpose? What they were doing? Most importantly, why doesn't mainstream media even try to answer any of these questions?